Hello, I'm Aeos and welcome back to the Journeyman Project 2, Buried in Time. This will probably be the final episode. We just got captured by Michelle in the last one, uh, and had to say goodbye to Arthur. Right. Uh, we're pretty much where we left off. I just wanted to check out what her missions were. And yeah, she went to some really bad places. Um, oh look, even 2019, that was a really bad place too. <laughs> But probably not for what they uh, prophesized it would be. But let's get back to it, shall we? We've got to poke around. We don't have our jump chip anymore. We don't have anything we really need to get out of here. So we've got to figure out exactly what we can do. What does it say there? What does it say there? <laughs> Something wave. We can't ask Arthur because he's gone. It's terrible. Oh, hey, look, it's a kitchen. I think it's a kitchen. No, it's a shower, just like a kitchen. I'm guessing that's a shower anyway. Um, we don't have anything. Oh, the biochip is blank. He can't give us any insights or anything like that. It's all on us. What's this? I don't know, it's green. Oh, this looks like Arthur's thing. Oh, what is this? Reactor core. Core eject. Oh, burned out core. Okay. That we're keeping. We should always keep burned out cores. I mean, anything nuclear reactor is obviously very good for us. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Over here. This is where we were, wasn't it? This is what we were trapped in? No, I think this is what we were trapped in. Oh, Michelle, what did you do? She had to cheat at grab ball, too. That had to be it. That's the only way she beat us. Or she used some of that black belt nonsense to completely flatten us. It was probably that, too. Uh, everything's very red. Obviously, the power burnt out when Arthur, the virus Arthur... Oh, Arthur went and sacrificed himself, so have to get everything back online. But I don't know where the next uh, power cell is. Oh yeah, the right setup in the future, you can live anywhere. Even in the missile silo. Yeah, this is backside. Let's see. Oh, another one. Yeah. Generator core. Should we read them? We should read them, right? Uh, this is a cold fusion generator core. It appears to be in working condition. Uh, we need to find out cold fusion. That would be awesome. We would suddenly disconnect all the lines everywhere. We'd have our own little tiny... Well, maybe not because uh, humans are stupid. But we could, we could definitely do some... Uh, Progression with cold fusion. A uh, burned out core of a cold fusion generator. It's emitting non lethal amounts of gamma radiation. Okay, uh, that's still bad. The generator core will interfere with transport beams if not stored in your null time pocket. That's how we're able to carry everything. That's awesome. It's, it's legit. It's a little bit of time and space that is just set aside to hold items. Right, we can just burn, uh, put in the new... That's not it. <laughs> put in the new core. Okay, gotta zoom in first. There we go. And we got to keep our gold coins, that's great. Get a souvenir. And the power's back on, everything's back on. That's wonderful. Uh, why is water dripping? Did she leave the shower on? Okay. No. No. This way? Yes! This is... These are... That's such a 90s photo. Look at that. Look at the hair.
Now go wash your eyes off, because uh, that is going to be burned in there, and I'm so sorry. I should never have shown it to you. It's like one of those things you should never, ever see. I don't know where, where to go. I don't know. Oh, right. This was used to transport stuff. Uh, Cray? Gray? Something? Touch screen to continue industrial matter transmitter. Yeah. Destination address code. I don't know address code. Also, where where do where do enter? No. Okay, over here. Sorry. Resonance scope. Cool. She's a lot of neat equipment. Um. She obviously was getting paid more than us. Oh, probably by uh, aliens. Never mind. All of symbiotry is supposed to have its own and stuff. What is this? Uh, it's stuff. But I can't select the tabs. Up and down. Skeleton key. Human heart. Transport code? Oh. Transport code? Why is that in the replicator? Glass pyramid. Okay then. She had she just made everything she needed, and we had to poke around to find it. <sighs> There's a little bit of a difference between technology here and like say in his apartment that's concerning. Five seven two five five one nine something else, and it disintegrates. Okay, it's only temporary. What do we got here? I see something's interactable. Multiple things. Sight. Klegman radiation. Eleven kilohertz. Oh, we're supposed to figure out who this is now, right? Television. Flat screens existed in media before they became a thing. See? 1995, they knew about flat screens. Let's see. I and will return after a word from our sponsor. No, not again. No, no. Okay. In a last ditch effort to stay afloat. We already heard Thank all this. Thank you. I'm after... To lose financial difficulties. The four items that the unidentified bidder purchased include... Oh, there's more. Yeah, this is this is great. Going through here, you can learn so much. And this is the stuff that really lines up with our actual... The four story. items that the unidentified bidder purchased include... Yeah, I'm after... I and will return after a word from our sponsor. In a late breaking up... Okay. The heads of ministry. Uh, right. The opinion Here we go. originally held by the. Uh, we're trying to find out information about who is the uh, responsible party here. Which part of the symbiotry is trying to get their hands on time travel technology? So they see by that something radiation, and 11 kilohertz is the voice. Sight EV band 6, vibration sensitivity. Eh, it doesn't seem quite right. The opinion originally. The Dordoon. Dordoon. Um, let's see, sight, sensory, uh, electro radiating echo, auditory particle wave detection. Extreme touch sensitivity, telepathy, or manipulation. These guys are cool. All right, we'll get back to the that. The one. And here, uh, helium. Okay, they breathe helium. Cool. Sight, indigo band, UV band three, taste, smell, auditory. Ten kilohertz to fifteen kilohertz. Vocal, 
12 to 13 kilohertz range. Oh, just above. So they can hear, but uh, yeah, it's they don't speak in the range we need. Vitor so. Lune and Sang Trakar, on the other hand, perhaps Grand and Farley. Not quite. Despite being recently abandoned by the Krim. Krim? Tegmar radiation. Vocal, this is them. Transport prefix 272. And yeah, those big numbers otherwise. I might have to write this down. We'll get there. Despite being recently Pretty sure. Let's double check these guys. Another telepathic one, Sir Rollins? That's so cool. Okay. They've got a very nice auditory range. Subspace and temporal riff sensitive. They're sensitive to space and time disruptions. Light particle radiation is what they see. It's okay. Despite being recently. Whimsical members of the Sabaiji. Okay, I'm very interested in all these races, but that's not going to progress our game. <laughs> Sorry. Infrared, band 5, tone-based vocalization, music-like writing. These guys seem cool, and I've only read a little bit about them. Despite right. being recently abandoned by the crew, and in fact, our benefactor, the third viewpoint, uh, uh, varies by individual. Right, there was something about them being... The third weird. viewpoint... Which was a Luxoni. Yeah, not even close. The third view. So, in which case, that's all we need is uh, 727. Or 727. 272, right? Yeah, I believe that's what it was. I should really write these things down. This is an old game. I have a notepad for a reason in this game. And if I need the rest of it, I can replicate another code and go figure that out. Alright. Is there nothing else here? Alright, we're going to replicate a code. I'm going to write it down real quick. And then if that's not it, then we'll keep moving forward. I think all we have to do is get out of here. I still don't understand exactly why she did this. There, right. This button's first. Six, five, seven, two. Uh, one more time, please. I could not write the bottom numbers fast enough. Zero, two, three, five. So that should be the entirety of it, the transport code and the prefix. Oh, do I have to actually type this in? Maybe? Yes, I do. I'm pretty sure I had it right. You cut out in the last three, right? So maybe the prefix is later? Before? I don't remember. I know I needed that, but I don't remember what for. There's this proper alien prefix. Object in transporter. We is not object. No. Ugh. Well, we know what's gonna happen. Now 
last time I got to one of these places, and I, one of these things that I didn't know where I was going, I just ended up, you know, Tokyo, I was uncreated. Well, the television device is just turning Ooh, it's purple. And save. Michael. Exit. Arthur, what do you have to... Oh, right, Arthur. Can we, like, breathe in here? Do we have oxygen issues? Are we underwater? What is with this? Um, what now? Okay. Well, hello? Well, this is fun and all, but I'm not sure what I should be doing. This is just like, uh, this is just Central Station, right? Right. Where are we supposed to go then? It's three dimensional space, right? I don't know what they said. Just need to translate. Transporter pod sent for inorganic matter only. Ah. If you'll excuse me. Should we see what the ending is? I'm gonna see what the ending is. Just for uh just for giggles. Transporter pod set for inorganic matter only. Yeah, that's me! <laughs> Agent 5 attempted to use a Kryn transporter without a complete understanding of their technology. The transporter was set for inorganic matter only. His Trump suit was transported off of him. Exposure to the, Qu the Kryn's aqueous environment was fatal. Oh. Well, that, that's, that's sad, too. So, some Kryn just found a naked gauge floating in the middle of the fluid space there. Dead. Okay. That was horrific. <laughs> uh, what did I save that one as? Purple. Translator, please. Translate. Thank you. Activate. That would be great if you had the translator and uh, Arthur all in the same thing. You could hear everything and, and figure out what the heck was going on. Transporter pod set for inorganic matter only. Okay. That is not what we want. That one over there is also set for that. Transporter pod set for organic and inorganic matter. Okay, this is the one we want. Do we change our destination? I don't remember that we changed our destination. We did not change our destination. Uh, I'd asked for a human Micon dictionary, but our translating bi biochip is working just fine. I just don't understand what to do. Alright, let's reload purple. And try again. Purple comes after Archie. So, I need to somehow alter the destination of this. I don't know... Does this do anything? Or is it just from that uh, interface? New 
Transporter pod set for organic and inorganic matter. Transporter pod set for organic and inorganic matter. I would never have guessed. Alright, so we need to go somewhere using the controls here. that did anything. We can go forward! Um, I thought we were in a little tiny dome. This is, this is weird. Okay. Is there... I'm gonna go this way. Oh, we just need to explore? Is that it? Yeah, this looks... Yeah, okay. Well, this is not what I expected. It has been way too long since I played this game, and trying to dig up the files from my memory is, is not working out for me. I missed a BIOS upgrade. An AOS BIOS upgrade. stuff back. Ooh. There's sharks? Yeah, okay, sentient being detected. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can't do anything? Um. Okay. While attempting to recover the illicitly obtained time travel components, that's what we're doing, Agent 5 was captured and imprisoned on the current ship. Uh, as he was acting without knowledge of the TSA, his whereabouts are unknown. It is unlikely that Agent 5 or his jumpsuit will be returned to Earth custody. Oh, those are the Kryn? When big giant eye... Oh, that's creepy. They shouldn't have arms. Also, it's kind of like a parasite. Ugh. Maybe go the other direction. I wasn't sure what to do there. Obviously, that was the wrong, wrong thing to do. So we went right. Let's go left. Uh oh. Close that up. At least that time I could I could do something. What do we need to do? Is it up? There's one there too. And we're just locked now? Yeah, this direction just locks us as soon as we turn here. So I have to avoid this entire section. Figuring it out. Stop beeping at me and give me a moment, alright? My brain is already beeping at me, and I ain't understanding the first thing about it. What am I missing? The cloak. We can try the cloak. I should really just look up a walkthrough, but it is a great game and I'm having fun. So we're going to try down here, and we're going to try the cloak. Oh, and it immediately reacts, so that has to be the right, right thing to do. Oh, they're creepy. I don't know why they're creepy, but they're creepy. I can't go forward? Oh, I can! Oh, it's like one of those automatic walkway things. That's very cool. This one just automatically pushes you forward, though. Uh, we made some progress. Progress means instant save. And 
let's see what's in here, shall we? Oh, underwater sounds, so cool. best friend. Sword. I cannot has? Why can't I not has? We're here to get these things back. Aeos wants sword. What is that? Why does it look like an alien egg? Visible light waves detectors. Oh, we wouldn't be able to see if we didn't have this. That'd be terrible. Uh, let's see. A couple medallion burned out core. We don't have anything else. What was that the top balcony key? No. Keep poking around to find something. This is this is the stuff we want. Can we go down? Oh, we just took the whole sculpture. Try the explosive charge on the sword. So if I can get the sword, I can try to cut things out. Yes. Richard the first sword. Great. Uh, it's obviously necessary. Jeez, girl. No. No. We're going to leave that there. They actually found the one where they canned his head. Okay. Environ cartridge. We're good. Uh, oh, which one is this? Sword. Did I break sword? I hope I didn't break sword. There it is. Alright, I am gonna save. I'm not paranoid, no. I lived in the 95 era, everything crashes. <laughs> this. Atlanticus. That's all of them. That's all four. Where go? What do? And back. What are we doing? Right, we're trying to. We got everything we needed. We're on the way out. Let's see. I think 
we have to go back to the transporter? Yes, go back to the transporter and get a way out of here. Um, dun, 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 dun. And we click that. Yep, and we go forward. Whee! And then this again. And I think it's off to our left there. Oh no. They're coming our way. Sentient beings, yeah, okay. Um it's down here, this just made it. Okay. Hopefully this isn't screwed yet. I want to save once more before we go on. Yeah. Just want to make sure I win this. We're close. Ending. I don't know. It may not be. <laughs> We're close though. And it's the one in the center, right? Uh oh. Within five meters. Oh no. Why are you here? I believe we... No. Five. Yes, five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you doing? So, did you find what you came for? Yes, so I did. I suspect you have. Yeah. We have also found what we have searched for. You cannot imagine what the secret you carry in that suit of yours mean to my race. A means to correct the handicap that has plagued since our patrons lifted us from the water so many centuries The lack of hands? I remember it. To be taken from a universe over which you have achieved complete mastery and shown another much greater given the opportunity to build a bolder future, but with limbs like this, my race is already there. For 15 generations, my race has been trying to catch up. You have brought us a tool with which to correct the evolutionary oversight, which left us swimming when we should have been collecting stars with races who now call themselves our elders. We can learn much from that suit you're wearing. Transporting it off you will leave you without protection from our environment. It shames me that you will die. Uh, no. No, no, no. What was the one? What was the one? It was, uh, the burned out core, right? Yeah. Oh! He's there. Okay. Um, what do I need to do here? Teleport? Oh, right! Because it's inorganic, it's just going to strip him as well. He has no hands now. <laughs> cool. I just won out. <laughs> Let's go. This should at least uh, teleport us back where we came from. Uh, I'm, I know what this one said. But, just to be sure. Oh, you know what? We're going to try it. <laughs> Is that it? That's it! Congratulations! Has the jury reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. We, the jury, find Gage Blackwood innocent on all accounts. Yes. The evidence that you gathered was instrumental in affecting your future self's release. Repeated efforts to locate Agent 3 have been unsuccessful. Arthur did something. As no signature from her involuntary time jump has been detected by TSA chronolog scanners. So that, so wherever she ended up, did she go to the future? Wherever she ended up hasn't been detected in the past. So there are no ripples, there are no waves, there's nothing wrong with her being where she is for whatever reason. After a lengthy investigation, Ambassador Icarus, oh that guy, <laughs> the guy we just dealt with, was found to be acting without the approval of Kryn government and was dismissed from duty. Nevertheless, the elder races of the Symbiotry have resolved to keep the Kryn under close scrutiny. 
However, there's just one loose end that remain that there's <laughs> sorry about that. However, there's just one loose end remaining to be tied up. Well, I have to say that even I'm impressed. I've been cleared of any wrongdoing, and the Kryn have been expelled from the Symbiotry. Now there's just one thing left to do. You can't stay here, but sending you back with knowledge of the future will cause a temporal distortion wave. So that leaves us with only one option. Okay. Sorry, but... Mind wipe initiated. Wait, wait. This is supposed to be very painful. Did you ever get the feeling of deja vu? No. But this was supposed to be very painful. Um, question... Ow. <laughs> Paragon Metal. I mean, he didn't even get knocked out. No, no, no anesthesia or anything. He just... Hmm. Paragon Metal of Valorous Service. Of course, it'll be another ten years before you can enjoy it. Okay. Yay! Congratulations! History is safe again! Alright. Oh, and Presto Studios again. Yes, be haunted by the 90s haircuts and the outfits. <laughs> oh, I remember some of these. Macromedia, chronic image. <laughs> hey, there they are. Oh, hey, Arthur! Hi! Matt Weinhold. Mark Johnson, awesome. Ray o Oler. I was going to do it with the last name as soon as I saw it. Todd McCormick and Michelle Scarabelli as Michelle Visser. You're a wonderful villainess. <laughs> oh, and all the, all the others that I, I'm afraid I have a hard time remembering who's who. I think he was the one that gave us a suit, maybe? Castle Guard. <laughs> cheese Girl representative. You're very scary. <laughs> but the whole Cheese Girl thing is disturbing. Mel Hall for Farnstein and Icarus. Definitely like that, that was great. Emirate Station, yep. Yeah. Voice stubborn, Eric Thompson. Oh, cool. Well, thank you all for lending your talents to this. I had a blast. I really wish uh, Presto Studios had more of these games. But that's it. That's everything. And we're going to actually quiet this way down for a second. <laughs> Presto Studios had everything in this game except for volume control. This was great. You got the past, you got the future. Got time travel. I loved the whole journeyman project thing. There is one more game left. It'll be a little while. Maybe we'll do that next month uh, to conquer the journeyman project three. But uh, yeah, I I know that it was what was it? 1999, isn't it? I think it was 1999. I have to look that up specifically. I know 97 was when they redid the Pegasus thing. And uh, the first game was was re-released with all the extra improvements, and you could actually see more than a little tiny window. <laughs> um, and sound control, definitely, that was great. <laughs> but uh, uh, the third one is much more easy to maneuver, walk around in. You get to uh, explore the areas. You know what? We'll get to the third one. We'll get to the third one. No spoilers. Uh, I love this game. This is great. If you can check it out and you're, you're after a mist-like sort of adventure game, give it a shot. There's a lot of history buried here. There's a lot of things to read that we didn't read. And there's a lot of information about our own world that is actually accurate or accurate enough for a general inquiry to you know, base your interests on and, and take a look at where we came from and all the history. As, as uh, like Michelle was complaining about not all of our history is good. Humanity has made mistakes. Humanity has it is still making mistakes. And we're going to. We're like children in the grand cosmos of things. We're going to keep making mistakes, but it's important to understand where we came from 
in order to progress to the future. We'll, we'll never get to being a unified planet and uh, people working together and everything working in our own personal best interests as well as uh, our personal best interests as a human being until we recognize where we came from and what we're building on in order to become better than that. And we'll get there. We'll get there eventually, even even if we're not there yet. Uh, this is set, what, a couple hundred years still in the future? <laughs> we're not even close to the timeline yet. Uh, but here's hoping, I guess, right? Here's hoping. Uh, so, until next time, until our next adventure, thank you all for joining me, and until then... Have fun, everyone.